What is that? What is that? It is a little bit more sinister. It has its limits. If you push it, it's going to push you. Look right over the bed. That's never happened before. Oh, oh, that wasn't there before. Look at the face. What's that? We're not moving. What is that? It's behind you. I don't know if I want to be here tonight. This house was supposedly so haunted, they did an actual exorcism. Not on a person, but on the house. An unsuccessful exorcism. The house itself is kind of its own entity. You'll hear like places like Amityville and The Conjuring and places like that. It, it kind of has its own self. So um, this house is alive, you're saying? Yeah, there was an exorcism in the 70s that took place here, and that actually took place right here. Right here? Right here. The Dandy family moved here in the 70s. They were looking for a fresh start. There were things happening in the family that they needed to kind of be closer. So they were hoping that this would be it. Unfortunately for them, it was not. They had a lot of like just bad luck. The furnace went, the well dried up, like all sorts of things. They had to, in the middle of winter, go take a bath in the pond, all sorts of things. Animals were seen alive and then found dead the next minute. Mike had been in a couple of car accidents. One of the things that didn't help was Phil Dandy, the father, didn't believe in anything that was going on when the paranormal activity did start happening. The activity eventually did make it so that Phil had to say, okay, there there is something going on here, I can't deny it anymore. They called in Father Alfonso from St. Bonaventure who came in and he decided that yes indeed an exorcism did need to be performed here. But he didn't do it on a person which was different, he performed it on the property. And when he did this, the house shook violently and that's why we believe that the house has its own. You're saying the exorcism was of the house? Yep. And it didn't work which is why the Dandy family ended up moving and just kind of fled. It seems from what I hear, it may have pissed off whatever was here. You know what this feels like? Like Stranger Things. This part of the New York region have some sort of correlation with aliens. Kind of notice that? Oh, 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 what the hell was that? What is that? Oh, 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 what the hell was that? Oh my gosh, something as you, what the hell? As you just finished saying that, absolutely nothing here that could have done that or touched your freaking camera, nothing. My life just flashed between my eyes, oh my god. It totally just moved. That's been sitting up there, bro. Something didn't like you saying anything about aliens. What did Kate tell us earlier? When she talked about another house in this house, things started to happen. Oh, it's jealous. It's jealous. So the house is also very protective of those who care for it. And we were talking about the Conjuring house, which I had just gone to. You know, like when you're talking about something your parents don't like, and then they slam something down like enough is enough. Well, the back door here in the kitchen has that gate on it, you know, to prevent anybody being able to come in. And that was all locked up. The door was all completely locked up. We were talking about it and the door actually opened up and slammed right into the counter, which is right next to it. It shook the whole thing and I cannot debunk that. Like, no lie? Right, actually, dude, get, 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 get a light. It, it, this feels really strange. It's, I've never felt something like this before. Oh my God, it's getting stronger. Oh my God. I can't open my hand. Like, actually. Oh, like you're paralyzed? Yeah. And it feels heavy. Oh, what the hell's going on? It's cold right by your hand. My hand feels numb through my whole right arm. Something's happening to it. What is going on? Like, it feels numb. Do you think it, it's something evil? I don't know, but it's, it's like something holding my hand, like actually holding it. But like squeezing like this tight. Do you think it's like a child? But there were some kids here that were very scared. Maybe they're looking at you as like, like a father figure. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's something, there's something in here for sure. <gasps> Okay, we are here alone. This is me and Mo. The docents have left already. We're gonna start upstairs. We're gonna spend some time in this room and we're gonna save the best for last. Did you hear about like what happened? Upstairs? So, no, I don't know anything about upstairs. Well, let me take you up there. Yeah, I can still feel it. Yeah. Like, it I feel heavy right now. It's weird. It's a surreal feeling. Like we've been touched before, but not like this. This is different. I'm gonna leave this light on just for a second because I want you to be able to peek in there. Look in there and tell me like what you feel and what you see. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty strange. Is that a mirror? There's a mirror and oh, then a chair across no. from the mirror. Oh man, that's like a portal right there. Why would there be a mirror and a chair? You know what I mean? In like a closet. So from what I heard from Kay, 
people will come in here and do like some channeling. I've never heard of this before until tonight. There's power in mirrors. They'll supposedly look through the image, like you look through yourself, almost like an out of body experience. Bro, you're not gonna like this. If, if you're an animal lover, you're probably not gonna like hearing this. Over the course of, of years, up until even now, like recent times, whatever animal would go under Mary's bed would shortly die after. It's almost like the animals become possessed. Some of them will throw themselves in front of traffic. It, it's, yeah, after going under that bed. Here, hold this. Let me go under the bed. Wait, no, I don't want you to go under the bed, bro. Why? There's like animal poop. Is there really? Like rat poop? Yeah, there's definitely been animals here. The girl that we were speaking to earlier, Kay, super nice girl, by the way. Big shout out to her, Aunt Tiffany, as well as the owner, Dan. She said that her cat came in here with her and went under that bed and died three months later. So this is still happening till this day. Some sort of curse that's connected to this room. We don't know too much about it. All we know is that whatever goes under that bed, I mean, usually animals, dies in a, in a short amount of time after. So what happens to anyone that sleeps on the bed? One thing is for certain though, whatever is here, I mean, it was tormenting not only the children, but the parents. And it got so bad that they finally, even after the exorcism, they ended up moving out. They still continue to have bad luck. Now, the only bit of evil that I have heard of that is sinister is in that room right there. Laura, her room is actually the one I don't like to go into. It's not a human energy that's in there, so I don't wanna say that it's a man. It tries to be very intimidating, very dark energy that's in there. It is a little bit more sinister. It has its limits. If you push it, it's going to push you. She refuses to go in there. Of course, leave it to most Sergi. It definitely feels heavier in here. Like Does it doesn't it? feel friendly like the other rooms. Joe, do you feel how heavy it is? Yeah. And the door's wide open. It's not like there's no oxygen here people sleep here? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't sleep in here. It's kind of comfortable. So this house has had an exorcism on it. But whenever like exorcism happen and they feel, things get much worse. If these guys don't like solve, and I doubt anyone's ever gonna solve what's going on with this place, I think it's gonna get worse and worse and worse in time. Bro, it's so dark down there. Look at that. Like, I don't even wanna go back down there. Yeah, especially after my hand getting all paralyzed out of nowhere. So what did you feel? Like it was Dude, just- Dude, it's like, it's like, here, give me your hand. It's like something just went like this, like that, that much pressure. Whoa. And that's a lot, and it, it just held it. Okay, so I'm gonna play this game. Mo's never seen this game. What? Something just took a step down there. No. -uh. I heard it. Hello? Supposedly a man though that would fall down these stairs all the time was because he was usually intoxicated I don't know what man that was one of the owners here. Maybe it's like it doesn't like technology or something here, Step out of there because I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, I'm gonna ask a question getting some chest pains It's like something sucked the oxygen out of me like I couldn't breathe for a second. It's like heart palpitations Well, you did have like five espressos right now. No, so no. maybe it wants you to be in there Or maybe I shouldn't have laid on the damn bed yeah, I'm, I'm hearing noises here. Let's sit down You know how we could hear that so good? Look right next to you. There's a vent that goes right down. Oh, I thought it was like a, like a half a, an animal in here, but. You see me? Okay, yeah, I can see you. There's nothing down here. Is that the actual exorcism room? Yeah. Um, I, I, I'll come into you, but this is too scary to be down. Oh, are you alright? <laughs> when I walk through the kitchen, it's like something vibrated in there. Oh, it's like the fear of the dark is real in here. Hey, let's turn it up a notch. What do you say? Oh. Why? Oh. Why'd you do that? Oh, I'm getting the shivers, bro. That's not you. I'm not moving. I'm not moving at all. It's behind you. Did you hear it? So did you hear that, that story about the lady in white? She would pretty much torment the little girl downstairs. Why? Beth. Like, a, like an actual spirit? No, it was like a full on 
apparition of a woman in white. The woman in white, she's seen outside, she's seen crying. She used to torment poor Beth. She'd come up to the window. Beth was a teenager, she didn't know how to handle that type of thing. They'd go outside and the woman in white would be inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. So a woman in white is typically, you know, it'll be a female that died in a tragic way. There are rumors that there was a pregnant woman who was, she couldn't prove that she was married, so that's adultery and she was hung. Woman in white, are you with us? They say she haunts outside. I don't know if she's allowed to come in the house. Dude, I'm gonna try something. Or she, she cries. She cries? Yeah, she goes around crying, almost like La Llorona. I can actually find the source of where there, there is a spirit in here. Go for it. You know how people use EMF meters to find like, you know, an EMF reading? This thing here actually locates the EMF reading, as you can see. And if you find it, it'll show you exactly where it is and where it's coming from. It's called the spirit lens. Oh, we got something. Where is it, 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 where is it? Right there, right there in the corner. Oh, it went away. Why don't you go in Mary's room? Hey, Mary. Mary, are you in here? And you gotta listen in because sometimes you get voices out of this. Right now we're not getting any energy. There's no EMF in here. Nothing on the K2, but then when I found an energy source and I put the K2 to it, the K2 was going crazy. You know what I'm curious for you to do? What? Aim that thing under the bed. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, we got something. <gasps> Wait, what the hell is that? Female's voice. Oh, it's right over the bed. It's right over the no. bed. Right over Mary's bed. Right there. Energy level 16. We can't lose it. That is an EMF signal. That's what that entity is right now. Right over Mary's bed. Can you see the bed there with in your camera? Yeah. Dude, look at And it's gone. Whoa. Dude, ghosts are like fish sometimes. But what are the odds of it being right over the bed? As you just said, put it under the bed. Kay also mentioned to me that there's a vortex. In that room? Yeah. Let's try this out. Dude, if something appears in this closet on this spirit lens, then that's gonna be really big. Oh, and I was just saying, if something appears in the, in the closet, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Dude, it's right here by the chair. Look, it's right here by the chair. Oh my God. This is the vortex. That's pretty strong too. 68. Something's touching my leg. Something just touched my leg. You all right? Yeah, I'm not in any pain, but it just it like grabbed my leg. Something what did you say? Say that again. If you had a K2 meter, it would be going to red right now. You're going crazy, huh? You think it's sitting there? It's sitting right on the chair. Dude, this thing is powerful. I've never had energy readings like this. No, and you've used this before? There's one more place I'd like to try this, and I'm kind of scared, and that's the that, uh, the Laura's other room. Laura's room. Just be careful in there, because uh, legit, something touched me in there. Hey, whatever is here, do you want to show yourself inside of Laura's room, like appear on the spirit lens? Where are you? I don't see you. Oh my God! Right here above it's the right dolls. There. Right here above the dolls. I don't want to go over there, but I don't want to get pushed down these stairs. Okay, let's listen in. It's let's like no up. rails or anything. Laura? I don't think it's Laura that's in there. Who are you? Are you sinister? It wouldn't talk to us. All the other ones talk to us. I hear whatever's in here is intelligent. It's very smart. Woo! Okay. <laughs> hey, spirit of the house. Whatever was exercised here, can you open these doors again like you did before? You know what's better than you? The conjuring house. Don't say that. I'm just joking. This place is better than the car. I'm just joking. I swear to God, I'm just joking. Bro, it was like a knock. Yeah. It was like a knock or yeah. so. I just heard it right now. What? Was it knocking on the door? It sounded like it came from behind me. Seriously though, I'm just joking. Conjuring house is not better. It's really boring. Is it really? I've never been. I've been there. I want to see if we can make communication with the La Llorona that's out there. I mean, that's what I call her. Crying woman. Here's my take on this right now because we've been in here. And this place is surrounded by spirits, right? Since it's a native land, right? Uh -huh. What if they're all like waiting to just get inside now if you open these doors? Like they're all like, oh my God, these guys are in here and we're gonna come inside and just mess with them. We are locked in here. Got all the doors shut and locked. I don't even think there's a window open in here. Now, what is this photo of? 
this living room here in front of us. Okay. The exorcism room. Oh, I got you. That, there's a table. Yeah, but there's a guy. There's a guy or a person standing here that, oh, that wasn't there. Before. Look at the face, bro. Yeah, yeah. I have not been in here since we turned off all the lights, so I can't really explain the picture that Mo just showed us right now. He's still right there. Like, is there anything there? That almost looks like a woman or a child. It's by the window. No, there's nothing there, yeah. bro. Nothing there. Do you want to get a light in there? Just so we can see what's in the corner? Yeah. It's nothing. But what if it's that, you think it's that, whatever that wood thing is right there? The clock? It could be the clock. Yeah, that that's probably just the clock. It's the clock? Yeah, because okay. like, you can see that white ghost thing, uh -huh. but I, I couldn't see that clock thing, so that, that's what that is. Debunked. Debunked. It's all good. <laughs> now, I did say that I was saving this room for last, and I'm still, still keeping my word on that as far as coming in here and spending some time with whatever is in here there is beth's room that used to be an actual room and through that window right there is where she was tormented by that woman in white that would come to her window and just start crying and it would freak her out let's look outside the window before we go outside you can't see a thing it's all like there's a light out there, like a flashlight. Oh, I see some kind of light. Wait, is there somebody out there? Hello? Hey, do you have internet? Yeah. Can you scan that? So this is something that's really cool here at the Hinsdale house. I feel like every place should have this. You are now standing in Beth's room. Beth was the oldest daughter of Clara's. Beth is still living, but wants nothing to do with the house anymore. Wait, she haunting. still lives? She's still alive. The oh. original. Dolls behind glass. The angel doll belonged to Flo Misnick. So that doll right there in the glass. This doll was brought out at Christmas and it's from the 1990. The doll was knitted cloth with donated with knitted with cloth that was donated from a woman in Denmark. Oh, <gasps> bro, look what this says. Do not open or touch. Do not open or touch. This needs to stay closed. The doll came from a house way out in the country and survived many electrical fires. This doll has been in many houses that have had electrical fires. She might have been starting that. And she is like one of those plug-up dolls with like those candles. Yeah, and then Dan eventually just uh, he, he put her here at this house. Hopefully not plugged in. Oh, bro, this, this is like moving. The feathers on this are moving. How is that moving? I don't know. There's no like air or no drafts. There's no windows open in here. There's no air conditioning, nothing. Look at that. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Can you do that again? What the hell? How's that happening? Okay, if you're here with us and you want to communicate with us, maybe you're how about the Oh, wow, look, it's communicating, bro. Move if you are happy that we're here. No. Oh. That ain't moving. Okay, move if you're not happy that... Dude, wait a second. Is there, like, some ventilation above this? Hold on. Stand, stand back. No stand back, because I noticed it moving. Ask her another question. Okay. Are the spirits jealous here? They're moving. It's moving. Very vaguely, though. Move a little bit more just to confirm that you guys are jealous. Whoa. I don't think I've ever communicated with a, a dream catcher. That's what this is called, right? But isn't a dream catcher supposed to be like something that would ward off evil? I don't know a whole lot of history behind dream catchers. When it comes to spirit communication, I like using non-traditional methods. I mean, like that was cool. It's almost like something was trying to communicate with us using that. I don't know, let's go outside. Dude, it's so dark out here. Oh, you can see, we're the only ones here. It's just me and Mo. So that forest right there is haunted. This one up here? Yeah. Oh, you want to hear something crazy that Kay was telling me? I don't know if it was her or somebody else that was with her that has a golden retriever. And it spent some time in that room. Mm -hmm. And it was a very docile golden retriever. Very 
well-behaved the older golden retriever after he spent time in that room just out of nowhere it took off and it was heading towards the pond if i have a golden retriever and a golden doodle they love water and out of nowhere it didn't even know that the water was back there just ran out the house went towards this pond did it go into the water like no there ain't no rattlesnakes out here you don't think no nah, bro oh wait look, this is like a path this is, yeah that's why i'm walking here <laughs> why is there smoke coming from there by the <gasps> oh, oh black cat it's a black cat that's a black cat that's a shapeshifter no yeah come on what are the odds of a black cat being they, right here right now they didn't tell me about any animals that are no. on the property that was a black cat that just came out of nowhere dude oh what was that, what was that? Shh, shh. turn that off bro you heard that yeah it was like something coming from the woods bro it was like oh. yeah yeah it was right when i turned this on bro whatever is attached to this property does not like necro dice because even when we mentioned it we heard noises coming from the first floor Oh, what is that? What, what is, is that? I don't know. What, what is, is that? Where? There's something up against the house. Behind those propane tanks. I don't know if it was an animal. It almost looked like something white. It could have been a skunk. Like on top. No, the white dress lady. That could have been. That could be the white dress lady. If you were pointing over there, there was something that moved behind those propane tanks. I might. I might have had it. What's behind those propane tanks? Mostly. Mostly what? Personal. For a personal reason. Are you sure you, you seen something? Bro, it's right behind here. Isn't it interesting that all the windows are gated off here? Like, locked, padlocked and everything? It's almost like whatever spirits are in here are locked. Or... It's trying to keep something sinister from coming in or something more sinister than whatever's in Laura's room. I saw like a white animal. It may have been even a white cat. It was. It looked like an animal. If it was a white cat, first we had a black cat. Dude, that's a shapeshifter. Wait huh. a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the room, bro. This is the room. Let's see, exorcism. This is where we... No, 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 this is the, be this is Beth's room. This is her actual room. And this is where we heard this. This is, this is where the woman in white would torment Beth and look at her through this window. These things are like straight up locked. My foot will not move. My foot will what? not move from here. What do you mean? It's like really heavy. It's almost like I fell asleep. That's how my hand felt in the kitchen. It's That's my, exactly what I felt. It almost feels like it's glued to whatever's underneath. Oh, I'm gonna chill for a second. That's never happened before. I've never had that happen before. It's a combination of just being heavy, glued, everything, and just like it went to sleep. Everything you, you're describing is exactly what happened to my hand in the kitchen. Was right? your hand tingly? Everything. All of that. Tingly, numb, all the above. Like it almost hurts to move it. You can't move it. I couldn't move my hand for a little while. It was. It's literally paralysis. You're having sleep paralysis what's, while awake. What's going on with my foot right now? My left foot. No. Are you not going to let go of my foot? Is that what the problem is? Entire. You can't come any higher than my foot, okay? Touch his pee pee. No, don't touch my pee pee. Nearly. It says nearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a small. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm sure. All right, I'm going to need my foot back. Can I have my foot back? Soon. Oh, my God. Oh, that was strange. I want you to stand over there, see if you feel the same thing. Cause it's almost like I, like my foot got glued to the ground. It was strange. I'm perfectly fine now. You're good. <gasps> what? There's something in there. Inside. Something inside's making a noise. Them curtains are just moving right now. Seriously? Look! 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 That, bro. That is Beth's room. This is what I mean. Yeah. Why is there prison doors? And look, we have to lock this up when we're done. I mean, hey, there, there's I've never been somewhere. Oh my home. god. Whoa, 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 whoa. The fridge is open. Oh look, yeah, it is open. Wait, that wasn't open like that? No. That was closed. Oh. <laughs> what? Wait, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look back at my footage. So look, we were on the other side of the house right there. Coincidentally, it was this window here that happened to be Beth's window, and that's where I saw like a white cat or whatever it was. If you look down, you could see the old, there was a wall here, and this was probably more than likely the doorway. Yeah, you're right. And they wow. opened it up. And you notice that every single room here is opened up? Okay, so this is the curtain that was moving on the other side. 
if there's anything here with us, spiritual, whether it's good or evil, move that light or use your energy. If you want to dim that light, you can. Does someone play ball? Maybe it doesn't like that flashlight. If you don't like the flashlight, you don't want to communicate that way, why don't you let me know by doing something else in here that we can both witness? It's like it went, you went cold. Right? What? Oh, what? Oh, what? oh my god! What? What? It just bent your camera downwards. My camera just went down? Look at it. I'm still holding a tripod straight up and it bent your camera downwards. What? Bro, I had that tightened. I know. It just, look how loose it is. It just bent it completely downwards. Wait, you didn't touch that? No, my hands are on the tripod on the bottom. Okay, 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 okay. I'm holding it still off. the same way like this. Okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna permanently turn this flashlight off. Dude, off. It, it didn't give us any confirmation on the flashlight. It gave us on the camera. It wants to shut the camera off. Okay, well, let's shut the camera off. Okay, hey, you know what? We're gonna sit here in the dark. It's not something that we usually do. Hey, so Mo and I have been sitting here for a couple minutes just in the dark. Mo's too chicken shit though. And he was like, hey, turn the light back on. <laughs> All right, I was kind of scared in the dark myself. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this, but sitting in the dark somewhere haunted is boring. It can, it can get boring. Yeah, we, we get a lot of messages, people wanting us to like investigate by just sitting in the dark for hours. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. No, I would much rather explore, and that's what we're doing. We're exploring everywhere. You don't want to just sit in one spot. Yeah, uh, Spirits, how you doing? Um, how you doing, huh? Okay, I don't know why I accidentally hit the button right now, and it said, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Are you trying to still communicate with me? Old mine. Is there an old mine on the property? I would know, but this is a mountain. There could be a mine here. Oh wait, maybe it's saying this is old and it's mine. No. Maybe. Ah, I don't know. Is maybe, maybe. Nick Groff's new show, Death Walker. Pretty awesome stuff. I got a little sneak peek of it, and wow. Be sure to check out my boy, Mr. Mo Sarge. I'm going to leave a link down below. If you want to use Necro Dice, be sure to check it out. It's available on iOS as well as the Google Play Store. If you're ever in the New York State region, Western New York, not too far from Buffalo, let them know that Mo and Omar sent you. Got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.